we cannot live without power and we can't be in the dark so we need electricity and especially during these days as we are working from home and a lot more happening domestically we need electricity a lot more than we needed it before so today we thought of discussing these issues that the main body of electricity generation distribution transmission the CEB is facing these days and how to overcome these challenges and what the customers and the general public should do in this regard welcome you to this episode and today we're going to talk with the newly appointed general manager of the Ceylon electricity board engineer Emma Ranatunga welcome you sir yes indeed now uh, I was talking about the domestic usage so I would like to start from there as we are home most of us are home these days so the domestic usage must be really high is it sir is it only the domestic usage that is high and what are the other client base now how is this client base formed these days especially we would like to start from there yes in fact we have mainly the domestic customer they are the main in numbers they are the main customers they are using more than half of our electricity uh, in the electricity generation and the half of the consumed by the domestic sector and the rest is shared with the industries hotels and also with the commercial organization and government institutions uh, educational institutions and the religious organization but we get more revenue from industrial sector as well as from the domestic sector even though we are giving a service and we are also a kind of manufacturing industry industrial organization we produce power, we transmit power that is delivered and uh, we do the after sales service also. If there is no power failure, we rest off. Therefore, any manufacturing organization, it needs to survive. And our commodity, even though you can't see it, the electricity unit that we sell, even though we haven't seen it, we have used it and when there's especially, we don't have this uh, service, you will feel much more. And this is the only organization give more than two months credit. Say, uh, our billing cycle is one month. Therefore, the customer is enjoying one month credit facility. And we issue a bill at the end of the month. And we give one month for customer to settle it, then two months. Imagine our daily requirement, the expenses are in billions range. It is really 20,000 million a month. How do you actually cover this up? Yes, that's the, that's the challenging problem. And say, imagine to run the business, 20 billion into 2, 40 billion, we have to find money. And we must run this organization and give continuous power. Now the customer has, you know, because of this COVID situation, they need another one month then we need to find 60 billion rupees to run this organization. And now it has become, say, 45 billion rupees is with our customer, mm -hmm. which is due to the organization. I know the customers are facing difficulties, moving out from the home, and in fact, they want to pay bill. There is no way they can't go out. But we have provided various options for that online online paying facility. We'll discuss more about that, yes, the, the and facilities. Yes. Imagine a business which is doing in this scale, how we find cash to uh, run day-to-day -day business. That's the big challenge that we are facing right now. Now, let me be straight on this question, sir. Is it true that the CEB is facing financial difficulties, especially these days? Because even the general public, they are facing difficulties in settling bills, as you did mention. Now, they are really not going out of the home, so they, some are not aware about the options that they have to settle these bills, even from home. Is it true, these financial difficulties of CEB? Yes, in fact, imagine uh, to run a house, at least you need minimum amount of money, say maybe 2,500 rupees, 5,000 rupees, 10,000 rupees, 50,000 rupees, 100,000 rupees. What is the bill, the electricity, say, if your income is about 5,000 rupees, the electricity bill may be around 100 rupees. And there are customers, more than 3 million customers who are paying less than 300 rupees. 
Therefore, if you compare with the income and the expenditure, the electricity is much cheaper. Imagine you are without power, you want to buy a candle. The cost of the candle, and if you add to 30 days, it will become about 750. How many pence. candles do you need? Yes. Therefore, still, the reliable uh, electricity is the cheapest option. Therefore, we urge our customers to pay their electricity bill as soon as possible. That comfort, again, we are giving back to the customer by giving continuous supply. Thereby, they can comfortably be at home. They can do their online studies, face their examinations, order whatever the favorite food online, and maybe chat in the evening, and also have, say, work from home. And we are providing those services continuously, and we expect the return from the customer as well. Exactly what you did mention regarding the online system, working from home to delivering food and ordering stuff and everything. Now, it depends on electricity. The entire world, even especially our island, is depending on electricity these days while working from home, while staying indoors and uh, protecting ourselves from this pandemic as well as the, facing this global challenge. Now, uh, as the general public, now they should settle the bill immediately. They should uh, settle this uh, monthly payment as soon as possible. But without making it a burden, what are the options they have to do it without going out from home? Uh, if you go to our website, uh, CB website, there is an option uh, for them to pay. And also there is an app called CB Care app. You can easily download from the Android version or the uh, other versions. And uh, from that you can pay. And also nowadays, you know, banks are giving uh, online facilities for their customers. And they also give option to pay electricity bill through their internet banking. There are some banks are willing to uh, deduct that electricity bill from their paycheck. And also that facility is also available. We can have mobile collection centers also. But I think when the countries become normal, the customer will rush to the CB centers to pay, settle their electricity bill. There will but be there long are, queues. Then. Yes, and there are various options that you can do it comfortably at home. And if you turn the backside of your bill, there are various options available. And while shopping, you can settle the bill as well. So if we say now a person is unable to settle their bill, uh, maybe the time has exceeded and they are unable to pay. What will happen? What, what will the CEB face as well as what will the customer face? What are the negatives of this? Legally, we can disconnect their electricity and we can ask the payment and the charges uh, on that interest or the disconnection fee. Legally, we can recover. But nowadays, we are not going to exercise that power. Because now, even with the default condition, if we disconnect the power that, you know, uh, we, uh, we are harassing our yes. customer. But maybe in future, if the arrears is more than three months, we would consider of giving them installment. Right? Maybe they can contact the area, area engineer and say, I have some difficulties. I will pay my current bill. Allow me to uh, pay portion of that arrears which I can't cover right now. Therefore, the, our CB officers will listen to that and allow that situation. I urge our customers to settle the current bill as soon as possible because if you delay it for three months, then uh, it will become more and more burden and you have to find more money to settle that amount. Therefore, maybe immediately you can settle your bill and ask for a rebate if, uh, if the area engineer really feels that uh, he has some difficulties. But there are organizations booming uh, nowadays because of the COVID situation, and they can easily settle the payment. And in fact, otherwise we will be running into the cash flow problem to do the day-to-day -day activity. And that will definitely affect the customer in future. Yes. And also, we need to store a call for entire year. If you don't buy this amount right now, because this, uh, we have very limited time for shipping and unloading, unloading, roughly about four months. If you don't buy that amount right now, we have to cut electricity in future. Therefore, we have to plan the future. We have to find more and more money right now. 
and we have to stock, we should stock uh, the call to give the continuous power for coming in. Well, listening to you, sir, now we feel, myself as a customer, and we all feel that there's a huge responsibility for us towards the CEB, towards the entire country, especially in order to save power as well as to pay our bills. We would like to know one final message from you. I think while being at home, you can think of how to save energy. 50% of the energy consumed by the refrigerator. If you can manage that, and you can save more units. And also, look for the bulbs that you are using continuously more than 12 hours. Replace it with the energy saving bulbs, maybe the LED or the CFL bulb. Thereby you can cut down your electricity cost, which is in vain, wasted. In the daytime you need power. You can think of using the electricity more efficient way. Then thereby you can cut down the electricity cost. That's my only request. Uh, from the usage aspect. From the usage aspect. Yes. And then about the bill payments. Bill payment, uh, the online option is available. I think nowadays we are with the mobile phone or with the computer. You can easily download the CBKI app. Then uh, not only uh, pay bills, you can see your monthly average, monthly consumption, and the last bill, the bill that you have to pay. And also, if there's a failure, you can uh, contact. And also, by lodging a complaint through the CBK app, you will get a quicker service. Those are the options available. Therefore, I would like to invite our customers to explore this ability and be connected uh, with CB also through the CBK app. You will get to know more and more about electricity. And we, if you log into the website, CB website, you will know more about us. Therefore, we'll be a friendly customer and we are not far away. We are with you throughout the day. We are giving that service continuously for your lifetime. There you go. Now you know what is your responsibility, what we should do in order to save this power as well as what is our part what we should do in order to make CEB safe as well, in order to supply uninterrupted power throughout the year. Thank you very much, sir. We did have this discussion today with us, the General Manager of the Ceylon Electricity Board, Engineer Imar Ranatunga. Once again, a very big thank you to you, sir. Thank you. Sir.